Listen, I know it doesn't look like much. I know it may seem stupid to some of you fellas. You may not get it. I'm just saying, give it a chance. Sit there for a little while and watch these squares getting auto attacked by my reticle. I'm not clicking anything. I'm just hovering the mouse over the floating, rotating nodes that are coming into my screen and slowly busting them into oblivion. We have acquired resources though, even though we have been depleted of health because it just goes down periodically and goes down every time I attack. I have no choice. I have no choice. The attacks must happen. The nodes must be busted. Maybe I can even bust two at once. This is true deadly action that just happened on screen some node murder of the highest caliber i'm going to node prison for this this is highly illegal activity in the node sphere let me get more upgrades though because this node busting is just not deadly enough i must hover over these nodes and murder them in one hit unfortunately i have wasted one attack this breaks my heart but don't worry they keep coming there's they are inevitable the collapse of the node sphere as we know it is a foregone conclusion i am only here as an intermediary almost i am a needless a needless component of this chain of events that is happening on screen let's get ourselves more of these rhombuses these floaty rotating squares on screen because the threat is just not enough i need to have more red nodes coming at me exploding in a shower of squarey pixelated goodness busting themselves all over my greedy mouth so that i can acquire more triangles to get better upgrades give me more damage more squares so that we can with our limited time in the node sphere go into this battlefield this harrowing ordeal of violence and betrayal and put every one of our thoughts and efforts into busting these nodes into oblivion for they contain a desirable item something that i must have something that gives me sustenance it gives me hope it massages my dreams into something that we can maybe one day be proud of. But for now though, we are in the trenches. We are a soldier in the front line of this node battle for supremacy. They keep coming. There is nothing I can do but aim that reticle and hope for the best. Hope that one day my life will become something more, something better than this absolutely harrowing terrible dungeon of node busting look at that incredible three point hit we get a super on top of 16 triangles damn with our incredible special point we can actually get a giant super difference mm. emmy's drop plus one bits this seems incredible this seems like a game changer of titanic proportions let's get ourselves a little bit more endurance give me a ton of max health and we shall go back into the breach with new and upgraded abilities this is starting to take shape i was but a pathetic soldier with a silly little nine millimeter pistol pistol now i wield a shotgun and all of these but pathetic nodes are my target practice they are home invaders into my zone of a zen that i'm going to absolutely pepper all across the face give them what for exercise my first amendment rights on these fools these filthy garbage home invaders trying to take my property my family my life away from me they cannot withstand the assault the never-ending barrage of nightmare violence that I am bestowing upon them. I need to obliterate more powerful, more, more power for me. I need to be able 
to get more of these squares dead. And now, now I'm reaching a point where my power is so vast, so almost incomprehensible to these pathetic little nodes before they used to take a couple hits. Now they just collapse into a shower of upgrade points. Now they are my servant in my great scheme for my power has surpassed their ability to withstand it and it's only my limited health my sad truncated lifespan into this existence that prevents these squares from meeting their ultimate end i know that it may seem cruel to some of you it may seem even just senseless senselessly violent but now they have in their desperation, in their pathetic attempt at getting the upper hand on me again, they have called a giant super square that I need to battle. And it is a harrowing ordeal, but somebody's got to do it. Somebody has to do it. Let's get ourselves more squares and a bigger attack reticle. And that way, more points shall be obtained. And with the remaining, a little bit more damage. There you go. Mm, look at the giant size of this reticle. I said I had a shotgun, now I have a sh sawed-off shotgun. I went outlaw on these bitches. I am breaching the law of the land by sawing off the tip of my gigantic double barrel and just blasting these fools into oblivion. They call more friends. They tried to overwhelm me with numbers. But I have infinite ammunition, you bitches. I have immortality. I come back to life after my health is depleted. For I am a never-ending entity of unstoppable violence. You cannot understand the vastness, the incredible power within my breast. I may be obliterated by my own finite existence, but I come back time and again. Let's get as many squares as possible, as big an attack as possible, a little bit more extra health to last longer. It seems to me now I am so terribly limited by my very own mortality. It is not the squares that are the problem anymore. They are just but nuisances. They are just ancillary to the actual problem that I am facing, which is my super cancer. I have been trying to keep it a secret. I have been trying to just cope, to be brave, to be a good soldier, but I cannot hide it anymore. I have a terrible malady in my breast. It completely obliterates my health and is basically tuberculosis mixed with AIDS and uh, the amount of suffering that it causes me even though I am pulling the trigger as hard as I can, it is just not enough to get these squares out of my screen and get far enough to destroy even bigger squares. And that is why we're going to put as much points into armor as possible and health. Clearly, this is what we need to invest in, throw money at the problem. Much like Magic Johnson, all you need to do is throw money at AIDS and it will no longer trouble you. You can just live with it for as long as you are rich. And that is what we're doing here. We're murdering, busting these damn red nodes all over my face so that I can steal their cash and then invest it in the medical science that will allow me to survive my super AIDS cancer. And that way we can continue our life of node crime. It used to be that they came into my house and I hadn't needed to blast them with my shotgun. Now I am the aggressor. Now I'm going to where they frolic. This is Node Park and I am a, a maniac just marauding upon their living spaces, obliterating their existence. And no size of square is going to stop me. Look at me, I'm half health where I used to be completely obliterated by this point. These squares have no idea what they're getting hit by. I am the super villain to their existence. I need more armor to withstand. And also maybe some regeneration. I need more armor to withstand their never ending numbers. They multiply, they constantly reproduce. 
they disgust me they are sex crazed absolute nymphomaniacs and perverts over here these red squares deserve the fate that is befallen them for i am the avenger the rightful destroyer of all this filth repent before my god and my god is violence my god is retribution i will obliterate each and every one of your sad pathetic sides i will shrink you down to an oblong shape i am so pissed at you i will change your very nature it's not enough to use violence to destroy you i must actually alter your very existence and perhaps show you a different way of living maybe if you turn into a circle maybe if you suddenly become a rhombus or dare i say a triangle i know that is almost blasphemy in your square land but maybe you should consider the triangular shapes that would save you from this existence of sin let's go back to the wonderful place get myself even more squares for more souls need to be saved give me maximum squares for maximum saving carnage oh oh i actually need oh you can actually use a prestige point to unlock a new prestige level when you beat the boss of the previous zone each prestige level increases both enemy stats and resource gain yes let us have more prestige i used to be a vigilante going into these square living spaces and obliterating their pathetic existence with my sawed off shotgun being all like a skirting the law and taking justice and righteousness in my own hands but now now i am sanctioned by the law i have been converted into a real bona fide superhero the president of Nodeland has called me on the phone. We are in a hotline with the very president, President Triangle Square Rhombus. You know, he uh, checks a lot of diversity quotas there. Uh, he, he wasn't terribly meritorious getting in there, but now he's in there and actually turned out to be extremely competent because he actually called me to solve this rampant heretic square problem. They're out of control. They need to be curbed we needed some massive pile of damage really i need to select the prestige level every time sure okay i will select that prestige level we're going to take our prestige level to the max there will be no end to the prestige now i own my own car i'm no longer biking to the crimes anymore no longer going on foot i am motorized i am even wearing a cape it is a pretty ratty cape, I will admit. It is not very well tailored. I am only prestige level one. So, you know, you gotta forgive my homemade rattiness. But I'm getting there. You don't need to judge me like that. I am doing the Lord's work over here. Just slaughtering these damn square nose left and right. I don't have any time to go home and like so for a while to get myself a proper superhero attire. Just be glad I spent enough money on this ammunition to mow down these fools attack deals plus five percent damage per maybe i should have uh, uh read this before because this is a giant upgrade <laughs> you just go in there should have maybe explore a little bit more of the upgrade tree and now my damage is increased enormously whenever i attack more than one one of my enemies and these are enemies you may see them as harmless little squares just floating doing their own thing minding their own business nobody is saying rude words or trying to get in anybody's face they're just just roaming about floating in the node sphere doing the node thing maybe talking to each other about the weather and how this blackness is getting a little too dark maybe we should paint the walls blue or something that is a little oppressive and here i come with my gigantic super weapon destroying their lives obliterating their existence like they mean absolutely nothing to me but they mean everything to me give me all of these plus 50 damage against bosses meh give me 
an even bigger attack size and then it would start some regeneration over there start that session baby there is a, a few too many of these squares we need to call their numbers the reproduction level is out of control it is absolutely atrocious no matter how much effort we put in our superhero endeavors they just keep coming back they are their recruiting methods must be better than ours the church of scientology must be involved somehow they are distributing thetans and uh, talking to xeno directly so that uh, these squares continue multiplying spreading their influence with their mellifluous tones and be malicious to the existence of all triangles circles and prisms out there there is a level of three-dimensionality outside of the node sphere these guys are only their own their own bubble you know they don't get exposed to the prism mentality let me just give myself a little bit more armor because i just don't last long enough i need better endurance absolutely shameful plus one armor against bosses sure just give me give me piles and piles of armor i am terribly weak probably should be reading closely all the other upgrades but i am far too enthused by this crusade i need to get back into the breach and continue destroying these filthy heretics lord's work is never done i must continue i must come back and I will always come back stronger than before. These filthy squares have nowhere to go. They have no recourse but to be father for my violence. You may think. You may even consider. You may glimpse shades of mercy in your heart. You might consider, like, oh, come on, man. These are just peaceful floating squares doing their thing you need to show some restraint don't be so damn violent and prejudiced can they just not live in peace in convivence everybody just getting along my answer is no my answer is death to all the square xenos give me more better endurance plus 12 max health wow give me more 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 oh actually there's you can zoom out. There's even more up there. How you move it with the right click? Okay. You can even uh, wonder how far this goes. Self repair. Hell yeah. Give me as much armor as possible. The problem is compounding the amount of filthy squares. It is overwhelming, and my auto damage is just not good enough. I need to have better than a shotgun better even than a machine gun i need to maybe upgrade my arsenal to get to the rocket propel launcher maybe a minigun some kind of weaponry grenades that will allow me to just put an end to this horrible square threat and never again have to worry about all of these pathetic evil heretics that continue spreading through the land just all the women and children i'm saving right now with my square violence they cannot be trusted they're not good people there's no good people among these squares they're all lost souls and the only way to solve this problem it looks like my health is so incredible that it actually never runs out now and the only reason that we're dying is because no, even the progress bar is, is completely filled up, filled up. I don't know exactly what's gonna kill me other than just hovering. Maybe the boss is, if it escapes, the run ends. I have not even been keep, keeping track of my health. I just get lost in the violence. I have been so enormously violent against all this pile of disgusting squares that lost track of just how well the treatment is working for my super aids cancer told you fellas that all i needed to do was spend enough money if enough cash gets thrown at the problem 
it will be solved. The lead to all the game development studios, to all the shows that have been coming out. You just throw enough money at it and you get an excellent result. That is just how it works. Okay, let me take a moment to actually read some of these uh, upgrades because I feel like I'm missing out on something important. Attacks deal plus 5% damage per enemy in the area. Damage against bosses. 10% chance for double resource drops. 1% chance for blue enemies to spawn. Whatever, whatever that does. Plus 50% pickup range. Not interested. Sp even more spawns, huh? And this will just... Apparently going up will give you just more resilience. Going over this way will give you more people and better resource generation in general. And this way seems to be like against bosses or like big upgrades, whatever it is. We do need more damage against the bosses. Give me a giant pile of damage against bosses. That seems like an excellent upgrade. Go back into the breach. Look at the giant size of this square. Nobody can hide from my holy cleanser of a sawed-off shotgun. I'm dual wielding over here, just shooting four barrels of goodness of cleansing fire at all of these sad, pathetic, pathetic squares. You just watch it happen. You're just a spectator. You don't need to participate. You don't need to cast judgment in any way. You don't need to be bored in any capacity. You just need to watch the massacre happen. Maybe clap a few times. Maybe comment, oh yeah, Blargo, you really showed those damn squares who's boss. Those damn squares will not invade your home anytime soon. You really have protected the borders of your triangle kingdom against the evil, idiotic, heretical tyranny of the square dominion. These guys, they cannot be trusted. They cannot be... They cannot be expected to act in a civilized manner. Just look at the way that they organize themselves. It's truly... Just disgusting! Give me more damage to bosses. They're really... Ooh, 20% attack speed! This is what we were f hoping for. This is exactly what my life has been all about. Can I spend this sapu? I would like to spend this sapu. This one will take it. Limited resource attained by leveling up. But how do I spend it though? I would like to spend it. I don't know how to spend it. Let me just breach. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Give me that prestige level 2. This is getting into higher leagues. Turns out that we were just going into the park and mowing down some low-level goons. Now, we have gone into their very own Tower of Madness. These are the elite employees that will pick up all this lack and be truly threatening to our way of life. You may only see floating squares drifting in oblivion, completely ignorant of the tribulations that grip my heart but make no mistake be not fooled by these duplicitous duplicitous wow that was absolutely terrible the prestige level maybe i need to actually lower it that was very painful experience give me more more resource drops that that pleases me greatly i'm a little bit more let's go back to prestige level one and that way we can last a little bit longer uh, the it was the Boss tower was a little too hard. I need to recognize my own limitations. I need to be certain to just fight within my means. I am a class C superhero. I can't just be trying to go toe to toe with Saitama. There is no way I could possibly play on that level. The giant lobster monster is going to absolutely destroy me between his pincers. I am better off just fighting this nail man. For the time being, maybe tussling now and then with the mole men coming out of the earth. But I need to get myself under control here. Just pull on those reins. I got too big for my bridges. I tried to be a polydicahedron. But no, no, I am just a mere pentagon going against these low caste of filthy, filthy squares who oppress the triangle so hard. But here I am the liberator of the people, the hero that they all need, the higher level heroes, the class S super characters, they don't concern themselves with this 
bissy work, this silly, silly, square murdering nonsense. They have bare fish to fry. They have hexagons to worry about. I am here down in the trenches with the people, the real down to earth people that matter. Those triangles can't defend themselves against the tyranny of the right angled mafia. They can't possibly fight back against the four-sided dominion. No, but here I am, the lone warrior willing to stand up for their rights, willing to stand between the disgusting garbage four-corner buffoons on the downtrodden plus three damage is just plain old damage hell yeah breach me baby wonder what is the best way to progress like it really didn't seem like i was doing any progress whatsoever at prestige level two like it gets much 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 slower because you don't have enough damage to destroy everything so i think you're much better served to play here until it kind of becomes becomes trivial and then you move on. Did I say play? There is no play in this experience. There is only carnage. There is only righteous fury as I hover my airstrikes upon the disgusting field full of squares and take out all of my frustrations upon these buffoons. Oh, Nancy, you thought that you could humiliate me by making fun of my penis size? You thought you could pull down my pants in the middle of class and everybody laughed at my micro penis. But now who's laughing, huh? The guy with the sawed off shotgun. That's the guy who's laughing. Do not test me, for I will come back and make you all pay. It is possible that I am taking out my frustrations on that maybe I am overstating the square threat. Maybe they're not the heinous, disgusting, evil faction that I have pretended that they are. It is possible that uh, it is all in my head. And in fact, these are, in fact, <clears throat> are harmless squares. They are women and children and innocent soy boys just walking around, minding their own business as they drift in their existence. And here I come, the violent weirdo, the Pentagon-minded supremacist. I go into their spaces and I obliterate their existence. Like I know what is best for the world. Like I, perhaps I am full of delusion, full of absolute madness. Maybe it's all a matter or of perspective maybe they are the villains maybe i am the villain who's to say morality is entirely subjective that is why in some civilizations it is perfectly okay to stab your neighbor because they stole your pots and pans from your cupboard and now you have no way to cook it is perfectly reasonable to then follow them to their home and stab them in the chest for the infractions just take justice in your own hands forget about any kind of institutionalized justice there is only the justice of eye for an eye blade for a pot stolen etc etc just like the biblical quote says do not let your neighbor steal thy pants for therefore they shall be avenged tenfold or maybe even sevenfold. The Bible is kind of unclear on this entire point. Scholars have been trying to figure it out for a long time. And there's just no consensus. So I'm just going to make my own interpretation that all of my deeds are justified. All violence is 100% justified and just. And these filthy evil squares are exactly that. And not innocent bystanders in my thirst for more power yeah, collect all these damn squares baby they're getting they're starting to be so many triangle upgrades that i am unable to pick them all up efficiently we're gonna have to start increasing the pickup range and somehow we've been 30 minutes at this but i don't want to stop <laughs> i want to i want to kill some more squares 
I want to liberate them for, from their sad, pathetic existence. Look at them. They're just drones. They're just drifting about with no purpose. Hmm. 1% chance of blue. I want to see what kind of blue... What is a, what is a blue? Yes. I need to see what a new blue note is. I'm, going, I'm willing to spend mucho dollar. Mucho dollar. Trying to get them in. Let's start that Prestige 2 session. I am ready to embrace higher levels of violence. These squares have no idea what's going to happen to them. I completely forgot to look into the extra pickup range. Now I am like an idiot just prancing about this field, picking up things when I should be focused entirely on violence. Here I am just running around grabbing things, being a loot whore, where I should be a plain old whore servicing all of these damn squares. What are you doing? What is the blue note about? I don't know, I just murdered a blue note. There was absolutely nothing. The elites, the blue bloods, give me a, a blue cheese? I don't like blue cheese. It's disgusting. So anyway, notes are uncommon resource dropped by blue enemies. I see, I see. I wonder how far the rabbit go, the rabbit hole goes. Oh man, that is quite the spendy feature right there. Unlock the milestone stab. Sure, I want some milestones. Ooh, look at that! Now we get to claim some milestones, get extra points. Oh, that fills me with joy. Give me extra damage for the bosses and even more squares spawning into my presence. There cannot be enough, enough souls saved by my shots of righteousness. What I want is to upgrade my attack, attack speed. It is a little depressing to attack so slowly. I need to have a machine gun. We are now having a combat shotgun right now. It is a five magazine. It is pretty powerful, all the shells that you can load into these enormous magazines, but that is just not enough. I need a chain gun. I need some kind of belt to eradicate. The amount of enemies on screen is out of control. Give me some... I wonder how you get that. I guess you need cores that are limited resource obtained by defeating bosses. All right, we got to defeat a boss, which is upsetting. When I'm getting to the point where my health is just not good enough. Let's get ourselves extra points on protection. Let's just click on a bunch of extra health on armor. That will allow me to withstand the thorns that cover these disgusting squares. They are all putting their thorny vests. They are shooting back at me, reflecting my damage truly offensive i am coming into their homes i am sh blasting them into oblivion they dare fight back how could they do this how could they do this why are they not taking my punishment without any recourse they have no way of fighting back their, their, their demise is completely inevitable at some point this reticle is going to be so large it's going to cover the entire screen wonder what will happen then i guess we're going to find out restore plus one health on any enemy kill <laughs> they have no chance they have absolutely no freaking chance and we're restoring health when hitting an enemy can i maybe i have a milestone now i want to claim this Destroy 10 blue enemies, destroy 2,000 renin- Wow, wow. How far this, does this rabbit hole go? I do wonder. That is what I wondered back in 2002 when I played the paperclip game. I was like, you just, you just click on the button, make paperclips. What, what's the deal? I don't understand. I don't understand what's the appeal of this browser game. Little did I know I was about to conquer the universe. So... You know, it's uh, maybe this scope will go from liberating these pathetic square buffoons. At some point, we're going to find the true threat behind the deep state that lies behind these disgusting evil henchmen. 
they're all going to be taught a lesson. I am the Pentagon Avenger. We need to destroy this boss. I don't think I have enough damage to obliterate this boss. It's just too much. Maybe all the monsters will... Oh yeah, oh yeah, give that to me. If enough damage gets dealt... No, oh, how could this be? My health got obliterated by that evil, giant, colorful square. Therefore, we need more protection. Yes, more armor, more health, more, more restoration, more. That is what we're all about. That way we can phase that evil, giant, fat, super bloated square. And I am body shaming him. I am indeed making fun of the shape of his body. Get on a treadmill, buddy. Lose a few angles. This is absolutely shameful. The absolute size of this guy. You have been gobbling too many triangles, too many star points. You need to get that absolutely atrocious drive to continue stuffing particles into your pie hole. You need to stop that. Can we please get... A, maybe I am making fun of the super square too much because they are not showing up anymore. There you are. There you are. We are ready to visit nothing but pain upon your existence. I am here to teach you the true values of self-restraint and moderation get destroyed we have unlocked more prestige we have a new star point something i would like some quality of life would be you hover your mouse over it and it shows you the nodes that you can spend it on that would be nice um, oh chance to spawn enemies that explode that seems like a game changer to me put it on baby Sure, even bigger explosions, and that's where we spend our star, because why the hell not? Uh, let's get ourselves more shields, more restoration. That will, uh, oh man, I put prestige level 3 without even meaning to, and now these damn nodes are too fat. They all require multiple hits to even bring down the lowest of the low. Circles? Circles? Oh, oh! The true fatties have entered town and they explode in a shower of gore! This is truly glorious. This fills me with determination. Uh, the, the level of... Uh, the level... Oh, restore... Picking up resources, alright. Uh, the level of uh, damage that these guys are dealing back to me is a little too much though. Maybe prestige level 3 is a little overblown. I have once more gone into more than I can handle. But now, thanks to the incredible ability to restore health th through the collection of these pellets, these triangles will save me. Look at that giant explosion. These fatties, they are the boomers of this world. They are self-inflicting wounds that will obliterate this. I wonder, like, my health just disappeared. It just absolutely got obliterated. I couldn't tell you exactly why that's happening. I'm not keeping track of that entire thing. So I just keep adding more extra health. So how far does this rabbit hole go? How far do these squares take their heretical existence? Now they are including circles in their midst. There's no decency in this place. The shapes may not be mingled with one another. These are some awful values that these uh, squares sport. I do not endorse the mixing of, of the shapes. I am currently disgusted right now. I need to just take a break and, and then come back with a little bit of a cleanse mindset.